Hello there, I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. Today's reading is for Aries and it's for the week of the 23rd to the 29th of November 2020. But before I start that, I thought I would, uh, first of all I need to click over so you can see what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> it's nice to be able to see me shuffle and pick the cards, but I'm looking at drawing a card with the enchanted spell Oracle by Priestess Moon. It's a beautiful deck and I know there's other people out there that have done walkthroughs with this deck. So um, I just felt drawn to doing that today. So um, I hope you like it, uh, Aries. I'll just sort of... Wow, Aries, you have the card of success. I'll just bring it up closer to the camera for you. What a beautiful card it is. And it's a card of success and it's a wonderful card to put on your altar and knowing that success is yours. So you can, if you're trying to achieve something Aries, you can meditate on having success. You can also use the affirmation success is mine now so wishing you the best of success i'll pop it over here and then we'll just see what the tarot's come up with for you um i'm doing an astrological spread it's a general reading aries so as with all general readings take what fits and leave what doesn't fit and astrology spreads are usually read in a circle in all the books but I read it as a tableau because I find I can use other cardamancy tips tricks reading ways if you like methods reading methods to um, enhance the reading of the cards build that back up again and I'm going to take them straight from the top I don't read reverse cards if um, that's just I don't read them I like to read the artwork and I like to read to see which cards are facing what uh, it's just a, a, a style of reading that I like to do so let's move them up a little bit Aries we'll get these so you can see it as I work through this tableau. Aries, for the week of the 23rd of the 29th, you can expect a time of lots of conf uh, not confusion, communication. And it's going to be because with the work, um, you uh, there's a man that you want to talk to, another fire sign man, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. And he um, is sort of in communication with you and um, there's all this sort of lots of talk and stuff and maybe there's a business idea or there's negotiations or or creativity sort of discussions that need to be had but that's sort of um, what that atmosphere is connected to around you you may also find for that week that you've got some tensions and feeling stressed a little bit about money and what the way to overcome that is to look at what money is going out with this card here in the eighth house and knowing that the problems are going to come to an end and what will help that happen Aries is to just put everything in compartments and this needs to be paid and that needs to be paid and that needs to be paid and get it all in order in your head so that you um, can relax a little bit about it and know that you're going to be doing the right thing and it's all going to come to an end with this money and stress that you well, um, that's in the second house because uh, for in this times of COVID around the world many people are going through difficulty and um, it's not easy so if you find that you are having stress perhaps you may need to talk to a counsellor that can help you with that or your financiers with that so 
you can expect to have communications with someone and it, this could be with the financier or um, you know those financial counsellors services that are out there and they may be able to help you if and this is your choice of course because as I said it's a general reading but communications about how getting that moderation right and giving you that sense of trust that it's all going to take time and that it all takes the time that it needs. And this is going to help give you the strength and patience that you need to be able to get through these financial difficulties that you may be experiencing in the 23rd or the 29th um, of November with that. You get a really, things are going well for you in the home and you've got the wish card in the home Aries. So I suggest you make a wish and think, focus on how you would like things to be and then make that wish on that. But all your needs are met housing wise, but there's some sort of money issue coming in for there. And you need to also, what will help you get through this is focus on all the good things that you have achieved because you have achieved really good creative things. You have been moving in the direction that you want. And for some re for the cards are just saying at the moment that there's some sort of glitch for you around the 23rd and the 29th. And but however, you will have the wherewithal to be able to deal with it and take charge of it. Particularly with the king is about being responsible. Um, with that, there could be some relationship tensions as well. Um, however, if how do I say this? What, I've just said something come through. With relationships, for many of you, you may have a difficulty in relationships. For some of you, there is a relationship that's actually supporting you in this because the two cups that are standing up and are aligned with this card. And the, many of you will find that you were in a relationship where some, you have the support that you need from another person. Uh, if you're looking for a relationship, it may you may not be in the right space in time um, to attract someone into your life whilst you're moving through this stuff. However, the cards can also suggest that um, you never know in your hour of need with these two cups standing there, people that can appear, the universe can send someone to you that is a very supportive person because um, just that's often just how the universe works for us so being a general reading you are either with someone and they're very supportive or you may be attracting someone into your life new that um, will offer support to you particularly like a, a very emotional be emotional support to give you the support you need as you are moving through these difficult times we talked about this card what's ending is this whole idea of feeling that you've got to do everything and get it all done in a certain time that is all coming to an end and you'll probably find that um, the money going out will change your life what's new for you at the moment is knowing that once you talk to this person and get good sound advice you're going to feel a whole lot better you're going to know that you have the wherewithal inside of you to be able to ride your difficulty out and come through the other side because a lot of the time this stuff is about the inner game the inner game of what's going on inside and everyone has in life highs and lows and it's the way we manage the inner game of our life situation is how we do well and these cards are suggesting that that is going to help you do well with the strength card that you have the ability to just get work through this because you've got temperance you've got strength and you've got the wheel of fortune um, so there's some good things happening for you as I said before lots of communication because the work area of work that you do in your work area is sort of all been up in the air and it's like you don't know what's going on a little bit it's a bit of confusion around that area area of your life for that and you won't know until what happens in the next week to see what is going on however as you know the wheel of life keeps turning and it doesn't matter where you are on the wheel it just matters that it keeps turning and you can draw strength from knowing that you have solid friendships 
you can draw strength of knowing that you've helped other people in the past and in times they are going to stand by you. So by the end of the week, Aries, you're going to be feeling in a good space. You're going to feel that the cups are lining up and the life is going to move in the direction that you want it to go. And coming back to this beautiful card of success, you just have to stay patient with it, work on your inner game, if you like, um, and success will be yours. So I'd like to thank you, Aries, for watching. Um, I wish you every success with the week that has a little bit of difficulty in it, but you have all the talent inside of you to overcome challenges, and I know you've overcome challenges before. You can do this. And if um, you like this reading and you find it has been of any, I hope this reading helps. If you like it, subscribe and get hit the bell so you get notifications when I put other readings up. And I look forward to your comments and I would like to thank you once again for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.